Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I represent a company called Anapark. Uh, we are German MNC. Uh, you can see our one of the installation in Delhi International Airport, Terminal 3. Whoever goes later in the evening, departures from Delhi, you can see our pla power plant there. So it is beautifully installed and maintained plant. Um, uh, let's uh, just a brief instruction introduction about our company. Uh, we started in 2008. Uh, it's our headquarters in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, we installed uh, 2,000 megawatts, more than 2,000 megawatts in uh, 18 different countries. Uh, it's, we have three regional offices. Uh, one is in Hamburg, Germany, another is in California, USA and Bangalore in India. And in India, we represent two more offices in Delhi as well as in Bangalore. So we, uh, we have 1,000 megawatts of uh, IPP. Uh, it's our own assets. We installed in across Europe, uh, USA and India. And uh, right now we are doing around uh, 1,300 megawatts of asset management. So the term is asset management is uh, the concept of asset manager is a bit different from uh, what Indian asset management company thinks about it. And so our asset management uh, really feels about four real terms. One is managing about the real assets in the sense physical assets, what is it? And second thing is about the assets. Uh, of operation maintenance of the asset, uh, assets which we own. And third one is the commercial and uh, uh, commercial points, what we are, uh, statutory compliances, environmental compliances, all these three parts will take care. And the fourth one, we can of course say um, financial model, getting the IRR, uh, getting the money back to the customer, uh, client, bankers, whatever it is. So these are the four key elements. We call it as asset management. So the asset management for us, it's completely different from the OEM. Uh, and it's completely different from the asset management point of it. So uh, we are the uh, one of the company which is in the IP IPP protocol and uh, we are into the uh, 10 position. We heads up Adani or some companies whoever have holds in, in, uh, in Indian assets. And uh, we are number two in Europe. Um, uh, Consequently, last two years we installed more power plants in Europe and still we are doing it pretty well. And we are doing projects in Africa. Uh, starting from even we are doing in uh, Asia Pacific, all these regions, and we are pretty well doing in USA. So let's move to the current trends and uh, about the event. Uh, of course, we all all into the end of the session. It means that our event also become like our OEM budget, less visitors, less resource. So <laughs> let's see what are the challenges we are facing in uh, Indian solar asset management. First is about the manpower. Of course, uh, Indian manpower costs around 70 to 80 percentage of uh, total OEM budget. Into it, uh, there is another term called uh, technical skill and compliances issue. So in India, there is a compliance issue is called minimum wages. It's got, uh, introduced in every state. So now if you go to the minimum wages point of it, the labor salary is much more higher than the engineer salary. So that act, we have to compliance it off. And of course, there is a EF and PF, VSI, all extra strategy complaints. This because we are really facing this issue because we uh, we do a lot of uh, projects which related to airports and government organizations. We have a projects in India like Ashi Port, Airport, uh, all central government organizations. So we do face these issues. And the second and the third point is water and other natural resources. Of course, water is an issue. Many states it has fishing issue. And uh, of course, we need to find some other alternative for the water resources. And the, the final important point is the EPC quality. So as the PPA rates are getting reduced, the uh, as prospect of, of that, the EPC prices also getting reduced, the quality of uh, Indian solar is uh, rapidly uh, coming down. So that is maybe that is the one of the issue we are facing in it. And third major, second major issue we are facing is the grid. Uh, so there is a grid code. So we have a grid code like uh, other inverter manufacturers are very specialized in man manufacturing 60 hertz inverter rather than 50 hertz inverters. And protections, of course, uh, like other guy, uh, other person who has into uh, such protection issues. So the grid system which you are connecting in Indian assets are uh, maintained very poorly. So uh, that protection system we need to uh, kept into our our uh, our websites uh, and the unscheduled maintenance we can call it as curtailment issues which we used to face a lot of revenue losses in it. And forecasting, uh, there is another point we have to look into that we there are we need to submit a lot of forecasting issues. And third major point is the commercial issues, complexity of various models. Yes, we do operate in various models like rooftop, capex model, opex model, open access, PPA, and uh, you know um, uh, CSR projects, even school based projects, MNRI register projects. So Indian asset, solar asset is 
simply very much com it's not simple very much complexity in it so uh, as asset manager we have to look into various models and we have to finance into various protocols and elite and of course the major issue for as far as this commercial point is billing and collection and everyone sitting over here very well know about that how does it difficult to get get generate the bill and collect the bill even full stop mistakes comma mistakes makes you payment delays and financial modeling as said before that is the point and the vendor management also which related to the complexity of various projects let's see um, now the trends in the solar asset management since morning uh, the legends the veterans spoke about a lot of various uh, trends which is going in the solar asset manager from me uh, i've been into europe uh, i've been into us and been into some of asian pacific countries so uh, these are the uh, small small things which we observed in various countries they were following it so i just want to bit and pieces of i want to just touch in it so model cleaning one of the recent trends uh, which the europe countries as well as indian countries which uses robotics of course ecopia is one of the very familiar country in entire uh, india and uh, iran based and uh, us and everywhere they are doing it and the sprinkler method which is uh, they were more famous in usa uh, it is mainly into the rooftop power plants uh, due to that uh, we uh, due to the structure in the rooftop scale we could not use the uh, robotic method people use sprinkler method it's like water sprinkler with some water soft water solution in it so it cleans the module every day basis but it requires a lot of water and third one is module cleaning equipments which means that in a tractor you can attach a brush you can if you have a pitch very good pitch in the modules the tractor run in between the uh, rows and cleans up. Uh, Sunbro Sunbrush is the another company who does pretty well in our German plants. So these are the recent trends which is in the model cleaning segment. Coming to the IOTs, it is nothing but Internet of Things. So the monitoring, of course, our partner Lucas over here. So they are uh, very much doing it with us in US plants. So they have a satellite data which uh, which helps us to what is the real time radiation. Uh, I can compare my parameter data and solar sensor data with this satellite data so can i can assume whether my models are cleaned or uh, and my parameters are clean so i need not to look only for pr i can look for the uh, theoretical data of course everyone solar asset people are facing 30 percentage of uh, reduced energy production in this year particularly from the pv cyst because you there is a tragical changes in the climate so this satellite data will helps you uh, in more about uh, getting the what is the real time pr recorded uh, irradiation recorded over there and forecasting many of the utility power plants now record of forecasting strategies of course there are various companies doing that and controlling of course uh, sitting in the head office uh, and once you have fleet management like centralized monitoring system if you have power curtailment prospectives you can control this one thing that is only possible through uh, internet of things and another point is trading uh, trading we are normally doing uh, german plants uh, that may come in indian also indian power exchange or, and may can do that so it ma it may also come into the picture later in this point of it and uh, coming to the last asset management uh, so asset management is as said before we need to watch and watch our physical asset how it does performs so this web based cameras has uh, in the sense it's a url link if you click this link you can able to uh, this web based installed in four corners of our plant it can it can able to zoom up to the module level and uh, you can watch the vegetation uh, growth module cleanness security purpose and each and everything we can watch we can inbuild this system into the monitoring system so sitting in the head office you can monitor entire uh, plant performance uh, so that is one of the system another one is erp erp which means i am uh, there is a company called power factor which is uh, based out of uh, usa so in this company you can get the online work permits uh, tax uh, warranty uh, warranty tracking and uh, navigation so if you want to go to a particular site if you have that app the tab and you can navigate and you can reach the site without any uh, any other help uh, and the weed management particularly into the if you want to avoid the grass cutting we should uh, implement such weeds uh, such weeds help you out to not uh, like bermuda grasses which will helps you to uh, stop the growth uh, that's particular equivalent we have to find in india uh, uh, that's all for as of an apac so this is what the simple and pretty things we are doing in india so we are managing 27 plants in india so i like to thank our partners eq especially and uh, gmr uh, this is our one, one of key client um, lucas G maitra jensol everybody's one thanks for the opportunity good luck bye bye